guys, I'm really excited. Today I'm gonna be doing my DIY holiday room decor and my room has never been so colorful before and I really, really like it. It really makes me happy to see all the color. Normally it's just white. All these ideas are super affordable, pretty easy to do, but some of them are a little more time consuming than others, but the, I had so much fun. These are great projects to do with your friends, your family, your mom, your sister. That would be your family or even your boyfriend if they're not like Travis and they'll actually do crafts with you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's jump into it. I wanted to pick up a few non-DIY things just to kind of tie my room in together. So I got this garland from the dollar store. The first rule of DIY is to always check the dollar store because they have the same tencel at like Walmart and Target for more expensive. And the blanket's from Walmart and the pillow is from Target. And of course there's Miss Luna who you will be seeing by my side throughout this video. <laughs> First, I'm just gonna cut out three squares from a piece of foam board using an X-Acto knife. I got this board for like less than $2 at Walmart. You could use whatever you have on hand. It could be foam, it could be cardboard, whichever. And then next, I picked up some fabric. Again, you might already have this. And I'm basically just cutting it out to fit the sides of this, and then I'm folding it over the back. It really does not matter how the back's gonna look like because we're just gonna be hanging it on the wall. So I did one red square and then two green ones out of this pattern and then you could go ahead and start working on the sign. So I printed these off off my computer. It was just one of the fonts. It's called curly something and then I'm just using the X-Acto knife to make my own stencil. So then I'm taking some black paint and I found that a sponge works best for this, just like a makeup wedge. And then I'm going in with a permanent marker and just fixing up any lines once the paint has dried. So now for the bow, I'm just folding this ribbon back and forth. And then you want to pinch the middle together. Just I'm using like a pipe wire or whatever these things are called. And then just fluffing out the bow. You can use a string, anything at all. And then I'm just connecting them all in the back with thumbtacks and the same ribbon. And then attaching the bow to the top and then just hang it up on the wall. This one's definitely my favorite. I found these really awesome silver trays at the dollar store. Was not expecting to find those there. And then I had some leftover snow from like a couple years ago stuck in my craft pile. And then I got these ornaments also from the dollar store and I'm just using some of those to accent on the plate. I got this strand of little twigs from the dollar store and then the pine cones and like the snowy twigs are both from Walmart. And now I got these vases from the dollar store. You could use wine glasses or any kind of leftover jars you have. And I'm spray painting them white. And yes, I did spray my pan first, if you caught that. Then I'm using some glue adhesive once the paint dries and sprinkling some Epsom salt over it to give it some snowy effect. A lot of these items you probably have at home, which makes these DIYs super affordable because I know I had a bunch of supplies already. So then just go ahead and put your little decor in the vases and you're good to go. These trees took the longest out of everything to make, but all you need is an old cereal box or cardboard or probably even cardstock would work. And then just go ahead and fold it up like a cone and then trim off the edges so it'll stand up straight. Then I'm using feathers. You could use whatever you already have like in your craft supplies or just buy some stuff from Walmart or the dollar store. There's so many different things you could do with this. So for this one, I did feathers. You just need a hot glue gun to do a lot of this stuff. I got this little, I don't know what you call this, like rope tensile from the dollar store, so it worked really well. The thicker pieces are definitely easier than the thin ones like this green stuff, but if you do see some of the cardboard peeking through, you could always spray paint it, which is what I did with this little tree when I was done. And then this last one, I also did like a word search puzzle 
type of tree and I just cut little slits and then those are the little leaves and then you just hot glue them on. So you can make these all different sizes and I would love to see how yours come out. All right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite DIY was out of all these. I would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see like a DIY holiday gift idea video and I could totally do that for you guys. So let me know. And my subscriber of the week this week is Amber Allen. So thank you so much, Amber. Please message me your address so I can send you a little note and a little thank you gift. And if you want to be next week's subscriber of the week, all you have to do is interact with me both on YouTube, you can be on my social media, send me pictures of stuff I do in my videos when you recreate them. Just interact with me because I love talking to you guys and every Saturday I will be choosing a subscriber of the week. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!